Hey everyone, welcome to Jot Form. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to show you how simple and easy it is to create your own form on a mobile device. So, for this example, I'm going to be using my tablet, but trust me, the feel and the ease of use is going to be the exact same no matter the device you choose. So let's pull up my tablet and let's walk through how to create this form together. So here we are on my tablet's home screen and you can see the JotForm icon. It matches their logo perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the app. Now, if this is your first time using the app on a mobile device, you're gonna have to go through all those nuances of either signing up or signing in. But for now, I'm already signed in. Once you sign in, this is what you're going to see. So it looks almost exactly like the desktop version. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that green button plus create a form. Now, the same thing, we have three choices on creating our first form. So we can either start from scratch, which is what I love to do because I love to make the forms look exactly how I want them to look. We can use a template and you can see there's over 10,000 plus pre-made forms for you to choose from. Or if you know someone who has already created a Jot form, they can send you the link. You can use it that way. Easy peasy. But for this one, we're gonna start from scratch so I can show you how simple this process is. I'm gonna click on that. From here, we have two different options. We can choose a classic form, which has all of the questions on one page, or we can do a card form, which is one question per card. For today, I'm gonna to go ahead and click the classic form. Now, just like the desktop, we have the elements button on the left, and we have the form designer on the right, that little paint brush. Now, if you're using a phone, both of these buttons are going to be in the bottom left and right corners, but the feel is just the same. So let me go ahead. I'm going to click the form elements button, that top left, and I want to know their name and their address and their phone number. And then from here at the bottom, you can see we have up and down arrows. So if we want to move that phone number up a space, we can do that. Super simple, then move it back down. Then we also have our gear buttons, which is going to allow us to change the look and feel of that specific one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear, and then the properties open up on the right-hand side. So we have all the same information. We have you know, the question text, if we just want to change this. I'm gonna change this to best text number. This is also where we're going to make it required. We also can go through the options, even the advanced side. But from here, this looks good for me. So I'm going to go ahead under address. I'm going to go ahead and make this form required as well. And the name. And let's go ahead and change the name of the form up here. Let's say I'm going to send some people some happy mail. So happy mail, sign up. Now for this, it looks like it's all the way on the left. And if we scroll down, we can see the text alignment. We can make it in the center like that. And if we wanted to, we can add a header image as well. Now from here, let's say that I want to make the background look a little different. So you can see the form color is white, but the background it has a gray color. Let's go ahead and change that. We're gonna click on that blue circle with the paint roller. And we have all different ways to change the look and feel. So we can either choose one of these pre-populated color schemes or we can click on page color and we can kind of drag our finger around to find a color that we like the best. So that one's going to be good. And again, if you have a picture in your camera roll that you want to take up the background space, you can just choose choose file where it says page image. And then we can click through these just as if you were on the desktop. Very, very simple. Now from here, we can go up to settings and we can play with these settings as well. One of my favorites is the thank you page. Now we have all of these different options to choose from. One of my favorites is the redirect to an external link after submission. So if you have a space on Facebook or if you want them to download something or if you just want to send them somewhere else, you can put that link there. For right now, I'm gonna leave that as the thank you page and then publish. And from here, we can click on the open a new tab and it's going to take us to our form on the web. So this is exactly what it's gonna look like whenever we send our form to anyone who's gonna to wanna to fill it out. So if you guys had any questions about how to create forms on your mobile device, please drop it down below in the comments. We'll be happy to help. Bye guys.